when he rebelled against him. So this was what <coughs> the devil was doing. He, he was the head of God's creation. Look at Ezekiel 28 and verse 18. Thou hast... Uh, okay, let me put it again. I think I'm forgetting. Ezekiel 28 and verse 18. It says, Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thine iniquities, by the iniquity of thy traffic. Therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee, it shall devour thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. Of course, you know, the Lord talks about the devil and then immediately he shifts to talking about the Antichrist, sometimes in the same verse, like this verse in Ezekiel 28. Right, so in the first part he's talking about the devil. It says, Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries. He was almost like a god. That's the kind of power the Lord had entrusted the uh, you know or Lucifer with. He was not just an ordinary angel. He's the He's the only one who is called the anointed cherub that covered it. So it looks like among the five cherubs, Lucifer had the preeminent position. Because we read about the other four cherubs in Ezekiel 1 and Ezekiel 10. Nothing of this sort is said about them. Nothing special. But when it comes to Lucifer, it looks like among the five, he was uh, above the other four cherubim that God had created. But he is a created being nevertheless. Don't forget that. Okay.